Hello everybody, I'm Chocolate Milk and I'd like to walk me back to Lost Odyssey. In the last video we got to the go to train station as Cook and Mac. And we're just going to collect a few things before we move on with the story because we've been sitting through a lot of dialogue, a lot of scenes, and we're gonna have to sit through a lot more. So a few little things to grab in the train station before we go. There's also a save point if you'd like to save, of course. And there's also a shop over here, if we feel like picking up anything. But uh, in my opinion, there's an overabundance of shops in this area. So, whatever. It's totally up to you what you'd like to buy. But this store has everything, which is the good thing. You can buy accessories, components, spells, items, and weapons before we mosey on along here. So once that's done, go up to the northern escalators and you co you'll come onto the platform. There's one chest to collect over here and it's just over on this platform to the right hand side. And it's got a flare bomb in it. Now there's nothing to the north. I checked that out and then cut the video out. And then what you're going to want to do is talk to this crazy old lady. A violet Aurora will never steer you wrong. She's got a creepy Why old lady voice. If you want to be reunited with the spirits of your loved ones. It's another world where the spirits of the dead roam. Nobody's seen one of those Auroras for 30 years though. She sounds like one of those old ladies that would live with her like 30 cats. I don't know. Anyway, she's crazy and she's just gonna tell us a story about an Aurora. And that's all for this area. But you have to listen to her story before you move on, so don't forget to talk to her. This middle set of escalators are blocked off, so there's only one more set of escalators to go, so make your way to the easternmost set and climb on up. And this is where the Aurora is apparently being seen, or that we can see the Aurora. So there's another chest to grab in this area. Just one more and that's it. And it is again on a platform. With a circular dance disc and a ring for Mac. And then after that, yeah, there's nothing over here. You want to go back to that open train. And we're just gonna hop right in and take the train for a ride, because that's a smart idea. Let's go see the Violet Aurora. If we can get to it, we can see Kids are just so dumb sometimes. Do you actually believe that story? Yeah. Come on, she'll be there. It's just a story. You can't see people when they're dead. Quit dreaming. I'm not dreaming. Remember how Mom's flower saved us after Gongora wiped us out? She's here with us. Don't you want to see her too? If we can find her in the Aurora, I want to try it. Do you want to see Mom or not? <sighs> All right. I'll take you. You rotten kids me. told us you weren't going to leave the city. Let's do it. I'll drive. So not only are you stupid, but you also lied to us. I want to make this clear. Do not blame me if we screw up. This was your idea, not mine. Kaim would be very disappointed I in know, you. Oh, I know. What do you mean, you know? Do you know what we're getting into? <laughs> Just to cry again. Oh, man. We're gonna go, let's go already. Poor kid. Getting yelled at by his big sister. So now they're going to magically be able to work this train, which is just dumb. I can't imagine how much training you'd have to go through to be able to work a train. But as Cook, just go and examine the control panel in front of the seat, and she'll magically get it to work. And we'll take off. We're just gonna hijack a train because, yeah, these, these kids are just not the smartest or brightest So that's fantastic. Who the hell 
And now we get back to this old dude who's a total imposter. Please, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Please. You know, that that's fine. You know, I've impersonated people before. I mean, you know, uh, but yeah, just find the king for us, would you? What a wimp. I love how she kicked him. I mean, fist, your just made no sense. Well, it made sense, but hey, 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 two words. I think she just likes kicking Jansen, really. Don't beat the guy up. Jeez. Thank you. You're very kind. I hope the real king isn't as pathetic as you. It won't do to scare the poor man speechless, Seth. I know that. Huh? So let's do this the easy way. Oh, uh, 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 now we're talking. <laughs> uh, uh, so, well, where's the uh, real king? Uh, yes, uh, head for the train station. Our king is meeting with the king of Ura on board a train there. But uh, no one is supposed to know. Hey, thanks. Been a big help. All right, so that's finally figured out. So this this team knows where we to go. We make a pretty good team, even if it cost us a fair amount of money. Yeah, my money. What? Ming, it's like this. Seth did her pirate act to shake him up, and then I reeled him in by playing nice. You know, good guard, bad guard. It's the most basic technique for getting information out of people. I mean, we could have killed his family, but that's messy and takes time. <laughs> it's so brutal. Oh, so you planned it all. Well, yeah, actually we did. It was a dirty trick, but, you know, when you're on the street, you gotta take the good with the bad. I wasn't surprised at that. I am a queen after all. Jansen is really tall. I, I just However, noticed that. Like what amazed me compared was to Ming and Seth. Two were able to work together. <laughs> and yes, Ming, that is amazing that they actually got to jealous. work together because jealous. Seth's got it out for Jansen. Oh, no, please. Uh, me and Pirate Girl, come on. Oh, I love our team of characters. They're all so dynamic and different. And after that, we're just gonna go down the three flights of continuous steps to get all the way back down to where we started, down in Middletown. But now that we know where the king is, we've got to try and find him. So we're all kind of going for the same destination now that all three of our teams have kind of got wrapped up what they needed to do. So back in Middletown, you're going to need to go to the elevator that's going to take us to the train station, which as we remember is just to the left side here. Because we, we really have to try to get into that train station. So when you get here, try to go through the gate again, like we did before. And they're still not going to let us in, because they're jerks. And they just can't make life easy for us at all. But then we meet up with Kaim and Sarah, which hey, what you is nice. We've been searching. Our team's starting to look a little bit more whole now. Me? Come on. Oh, so now we can get in. Why is that? Don't worry. It's all been taken care of. So Kaim and Sarah have pulled some strings, and now we can get in no problem. Thank you, King of Goza. Now that we're here, I, I'm going to save my game because I haven't saved in a while. And then you're going to go to the middle escalator that was off limits before. We have special permission, so now we're allowed to go here. So Thank you again, King of Goza. For making our lives a little easier when everyone else is trying to piss all over our progress. Alright, so... This is again just the same generic looking platform. Don't think there's anything to collect here. Two kids jumped on that train and the guy will off. tell us that... The whole place is in an Cook and Mac took over the train, it's... so that's fantastic. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, a boy and a girl. They looked an awful lot alike. Uh, could have been twins. No. They headed off to see the Aurora. Here comes the crazy old lady. What Aurora? It's the all your fault. Aurora, that's the gateway to the realm crazy of cat lady. I sensed a powerful longing on their part to be with someone. 
Hmm, come to think of it, passengers that arrived on the first track mentioned seeing the Aurora on their way in. They've gone looking for Lyrum. Oh, it's dangerous to pursue the spirits of the dead. The living become their prisoners. I've seen it time and time again. Which way did the train go? Trains leaving on the first track are eastbound. The royal carriage is westbound. Opposite directions. Oh, fantastic. What so we, we not only just regrouped, but now we have to split up again. Because the two trains are going in opposite directions. I'm going after them. Forgive me. You go to the meeting, Kaim. Stay with her. Listen, Kaim, your husband and grandfather first. Come on, get going. We'll take care of the meeting. So Sarah and Kaim go to take care of their family, and it's the same teams as before, just Kaim and Sarah, and then we are with Ming, Seth, and Jansen. So they go off to the meeting, and now we're left with Kaim and Sarah, who we will be meeting up with later. And this is just a quick scene showing that Cook and Mac are heading into the Aurora. Kind of a very unnecessary scene, but whatever. At least we know they're they're still safe, I suppose. Not all hope is lost. And this is the royal carriage. So here's our Another favorite party king ever. In this meeting. Who might that be? The Queen of Numara. Will that be a problem? And Tolton it looks is very nervous. It's likely that our three countries, Gotsa, Ura, and Numara, will go to war. The purpose of this meeting is to find a way to avoid that. I want very much to hear what Queen Ming has to say on this subject. What do you say? Very well, then. Bring her in. I'm grateful for your consideration. But I guess since he's also like a new king, he's very sheepish and shy but he just looks like way too shy for me like it's just really suspicious but anyways we're allowed to come in which is nice Thank i you. suppose hey, is the kitchen still open? and speaking of food please accept my there's actually food here to eat myself upon you in this manner your majesties please be seated thank you queen ming this is his majesty Tolton, the king of ura would you please share your concerns with us? Most certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I have important information concerning your royal advisor, Gongora. He belonged to our group of immortals, but now it appears he's created his own agenda to dominate this world. Gongora yeah, Tolton, re wake up and smell the roses. Oh, I, just, I still want to reach in and just power. strangle him to death. Just like shake Mara, him until he gets it in his brain. Took by building up arms and the restoration of the Oran monarchy with you on the throne, all are parts of Gongora's grand scheme. Grand staff is an essential part of Gongora's plan, and it is incredibly dangerous. Your Majesty, we beg you to destroy the staff without delay. Grand Staff will make enormous contributions to Ura's development. I can't simply destroy it. I must agree with King Tolton. The completion of Grand Staff will mean the culmination of all our years of harnessing magic to advance our civilizations. Its loss would be tragic for us all. Your Majesties have surely heard of the catastrophe at the Wool Highlands. I've heard that a meteor fell on the battlefield. Yes, and it was most probably brought down by Gongora. What? And there is no telling when he may strike with a second or third meteor. It is imperative that we stop Gongora and prevent the completion of Grand Staff. I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. Believe it, Tolson. Believe it. It's yet, true. I can't imagine the Queen of Numara would come here to make such absurd claims. You will have our full cooperation, Your Majesty. Our forces stand ready to mobilize in Uro's defense. 
in place of the forces that you have already lost to this new enemy. And oh my god, he has one of those stupid spy eye things in his eye. How is... Oh! I hate that. It's just like we feel like we're getting ahead of Gungora, but Gungora is always two or three steps in front of us. Like, he knows everything. Should I destroy the mirrors before the other immortals fully regain their memories? Connect me to Tolton. I need to relate. Oh, and not only that, but he's also talking to him because Tolton can't think for himself because he's a dumbass. So Majesty, this is just fantastic. Goza, that you will hand over the blueprints and essential data on Grand We are getting nowhere. Announce that you will join forces. Which I guess is why Tolton looks so nervous because he's like waiting for Gungora to talk to him because he's a <sighs> I hate Tolton. I just he's not my favorite. We now have an alliance with Ura, your majesty. And information on Grand Staff is being sent to Kent. Dispatch our forces to maintain security there. R right away, your majesty. So Numar is still the odd one out uh, in this. One more thing. Uh, yes, your majesty. Ura appears to know something of our relations with Kent. You mean our meetings with Kent before the attack on Ura? Correct. This alliance could be an Ura trap. Take the usual measures and use caution. My apologies for delaying our meal. So this is like the first time in the whole game that I actually recall them eating something. Well, Tolton ate something before... This is an auspicious well, he was trying to before the rat of got destroyed. But anyways, that's it for that team for a little while. We're back at the change station with Kaim and Sarah. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, and thank you so much for watching.